Hello YouTube, this is John J. Fitz 7 here, and I'm, of course I'm going to show you one of my newer builds. I actually built this all in one day in about five and a half hours. Uh, I was just really bored today, and I really decided to play uh, some Minecraft. And, uh, fucking squids. There were squids all around here, and me and Matthew were uh, killing them. Me and Duberdaki were killing them. And, of course, squids are annoying as fuck. Any anyways, so anyone who's uh, seen my previous videos on my boats will notice this little shitty uh, town. This is what I keep this around because this is one of the first things me and uh, Duperdecky ever played when we first got Minecraft. Just, you know, a kind of roots thing. This was really bad, but, you know, it's cool now. Anyway, so this is a little collage of boats I've made. Now, this one I actually did make. That's the only one I haven't made, but I do have permission to put it in my videos. Um... I don't remember who it was from, but I know the boat's called Teresa's Demise. It is on YouTube, so, so look that up. Um, anyways, this is my boat, the Archimedes. I've d done a YouTube video of this, and uh, I don't know, it didn't really get popular. I thought it was a really good ship. This is uh, like the third big thing I've ever built in Minecraft. It was a really hard build, and uh, I was proud of myself. So I think it's got like 28 cannons, maybe 14 each side. Based off a of flute, flyute. I'll, I'll, I don't know how to say it. I'll put it in a caption. So it's a uh, two deck, but a third uh, cargo deck in the bottom. It's uh, decent. It, this is when I didn't know a lot about ships. So the rigging actually came a while ago, way after I built the ship. But I just did some fake rigging. It's it's nowhere near real. The ships, the sails are really bad. This is just uh, something I made one day when I first started, and before I knew anything about ships. So, um, and by the way, the pumpkin textures, they were on a separate texture back in which this was actually textured as wood and it glowed. It was like glowing wood so that it would look normal, but it would also during the night, you know, keep the whole thing lit up. I'll eventually change it to one of the new woods rather than, uh, pumpkins. Anyways, onward. This is my newest ship. Well, my second newest ship now. I haven't named it. I think I have actually named it the Indestructible or something like that. I can't remember. It is a uh, line ship. It's it's not really any rates, but I kind of based it off a heavy galleon. I, I would call it a sixth rate, but I'm not sure. Maybe a fifth rate. And uh, it's a line ship. It's just covered in cannons. 28 cannons per side. It's got four decks. I'll show you that in a second. It's got three masts. No, four masts, dude. And uh, I've only done one sail, and I think I'm going to get rid of the sail because I want it all folded up in the bay. That's what I've done with most of the ships. Except for that one, because I didn't build it. And uh, here are the four decks. One's you know a below deck where they uh, put um, you know weights down there to keep the boat uh, bottom heavy rather than top heavy, because top heavy will sink your boat eventually in a big wave. And um, there are the three gun decks, and then the captain's decks. The, the captain gets two decks because he's a rich asshole on this boat. And um, oh ship, not boat. My bad. Anyways, but yeah, these are all the decks. It's a really cool boat, actually. I'm a uh, ship. I don't know why I keep saying boat. It's a really good ship. I was really proud of myself. It's really spacious, and I would suppose if it were a real boat, it would be crewed by over 500 men. That one in the back, probably around 60 to 80, regardless of the size. This was just built wrong, but 60 to 80 cargo, I mean, to crew this one. That one would be about 500 men, because I think it's three persons to a cannon, and, uh... You know, plus whatever they have to maintain on the ship, like sails and shit, so. Okay, now this is the Teresa's Demise. It is a fantasy ship. It is not really based off anything, but if I were to guess, it would be a small galleon or a, f a flute or flyute, however you pronounce it. I'm not sure. I'm probably doing both wrong. But it would be based off one of those. It's kind of a fantasy ship, a pirate ship, torn up, rigging, kind of like uh, Pirates of the Caribbean, the Davy Jones ship kind of, you know, just weird. And this one, I think, also had a texture pack to it. Or my texture pack. This is actually a default texture pack, but I'm not using default, so it kind of looks funky. As you see, it's really well built. It's got a little uh, pirate skull right there. Right here, it's got another skull. And it's all torn up, and the sails are just beautiful. I, I'm really surprised at how well he did this. He even did semi-rigging. He didn't do a lot of the rigging. He just did the, uh, I think it's called fore and aft. He did a lot of the rigging, not all of it, but it was it was a really good ship, and I was really surprised at that. Yeah, he did do a lot of the rigging, actually. Never mind. Anyways, but yeah, this is a really good ship of really good quality, and this is the ship that inspired me to build uh, this. I can't remember the name of it for the life of me right now. I have a video of it. And I'll look it up later. Um, this is the newest ship, though. I think it's called it's it's either a sloop of yeah it's a sloop of war, I believe. 
is what they call these, or a catch. I can't remember for the life of me. Again, I'm not very good with these names. But this is a sloop of war, I believe. And um, very tiny, and I could have gunned it more, but it would have looked funky, in my opinion, if I had guns all the way through there. And uh, these, there's uh, five cannons on each side, so there's ten cannons there, and two rear cannons. And uh, those are right here. Now, um, the actual full design was based off two images I found on Google, but I also based like rear cannons and cannon placement off a game called Age of Pirates, uh, City of Abandoned Ships with the GOF mod. It's a really good game. You should check that out. And uh, it's fully rigged, except for you know little mini ones I can't do. But it's got see the the white ones are the, the fucking uh, rigging, and the, these are the folded up sails. It's fully done now. That what I am surprised about that I did. I actually well all these are working. And by the way, as you see, these are all the new cannonballs I've decided to use with uh, my ship's cannons. Say they as close to cannonballs as you can get. But um, so there's that. Oh, hold on weather sun okay and then I actually decided to fully furnish the entire under deck except for a few bits I haven't done the captain's uh, quarters and I haven't really put cargo crates everywhere but as you see here I've got these these are the beds I uh, this would actually be crewed by about 50 men I'm, I'm not all that sure about that though and I can't really fit that many beds but uh, I just add a lot of beds so this is still fine for any minecraft crew and then the captain's quarters, which I'm really uh, excited the way I get to furnish this one. See right here, then you can go on the under deck, and there's this. And this is actually really good. Hold on, let me just put something there. Do, 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 Eh, Uh-oh. And then, eh, yeah, yeah. Okay. So, yeah, this was actually a really fun ship to build. I built this in about five and a half hours today. And, uh... Very, very, very pleased with this one. This one looks really good. And yes, I didn't just stop there. It's completely done. You can't really see it, even with brightness turned up. But there is one slash time day. Uh, as you can kind of see, there is the whole thing is done. It's all rounded. I can't really show you underwater. I have pictures though. So this took a really good amount of time today, and I actually incorporated a lot of the ups upside down stairs to make this look better. But uh, so far, that is my fleet um, right here. And I'd actually, if you have a fleet in the comment, please, uh, like a fleet or a ship, or maybe you want to add uh, one to my fleet. And uh, all this is in hopes for one, somebody like the Zeppelin mod makes these be able to move. That's my hopes, that they optimize it to the point in which these will be able to move, and I will be able to have fleet battles in multiplayer. That is my plan, because this would be really fun in multiplayer. But until then, I'm building up a fleet, and... Um, Please, like I said, leave a comment below if you have a ship that you want added to the fleet, or if you just want me to check out your, me and you know my viewers to check out your ships because ships are really an interest of mine. So I, I'd love to see them. No matter how bad you think it is, I might think it's you know good or great. Even you might be better than me, or well, you you definitely could be better than me. I'm not all that good at this game, but um. I'm probably about a decent builder. So yeah, if uh, please leave a comment if you have ships that you want to show, make a video, or maybe a slideshow. I'd, I'd still love to see it. And if you want me to add it to this fleet right here, uh, just send me a, uh, a download link. No, no, make a video, and then uh, show me the ship, and then uh, leave a download link in there on uh, Mediafire, please. And... Uh, that's about it, YouTube. Uh, please comment on these. I worked really hard for these, and uh, I really haven't gotten a lot of feedback on the other ones, these two. And I'd really like to see some feedback on these, and especially this one. I think this one's especially realistic. This is about as realistic as the other ships are. I'm more, Way more realistic looking than the other ships are in, in terms of size, cannon layout, sails. I was really, really happy with the way this one turned out. So, uh... You comment, please. Or rate it, please. You don't have to subscribe unless you like me. I urge you not to subscribe unless you like me, my voice, or my builds. Something has to make you mute want to return. Otherwise, it do I really don't want you subscribing. I'm not a subscriber whore. I want genuine subscribers, you know, people I care. So, um, like I said, comment on your opinions. Rate if you like or dislike. Disliking is just as loud as, uh, you know, not subscribing. I'd rather, you know, honest people. Um, RuneScape build terms, still doing it, still taking a while. Anyways, um, thanks for your time, YouTube. Bye.